I'm Madhul Kumar. Here is an excellent application of Pascal's triangle. Question is, how many diagonals are there in an n-sided polygon? So that is the question for us. Uh, let us uh, construct few polygons and see the trend and also compare it with Pascal's triangle to find a general solution. So what we'll begin with is that we'll take up uh, different polygons beginning with quadrilateral, right? So, you know, we have diagonals in quadrilateral. So, here we'll write the polygons. I should say polygon number of sides, number of sides, okay, for the polygons. And here we'll write number of diagonals. So, let's make a table starting with a four-sided polygon, which is quadrilateral. So, if the number of sides are four, how many diagonals do we have? So let's try to construct here. So if say we have these four sides. In that case, we can make this quadrilateral with four sides. And then number of diagonals will be one and then here two. So we get two diagonals for quadrilateral. If we have a pentagon, that is to say five-sided figure, then how many diagonals are we going to have? So let me construct one pentagon here. Uh, so we have this, and let's say this is, let's take a point here, okay? Uh, so we have this pentagon. Let's count the diagonals. So we do have these two diagonals, okay? Then we have this also third diagonal. From each other vertex, which are these three, we'll have, so we have three, and then we from here, four and then we have one here so we get five correct so we have five diagonals if i increase the size to six it becomes a hexagon and let's count how many diagonals are we going to have in hexagon so let me construct one hexagon uh, let's say we have one two three four five six so that's the polygon was six sides. So now we can say one diagonal, two, three. And then we have four, five, six. From here we have seven, eight. And then from here we have one to this side. So nine, right? So we get nine diagonals. Likewise, you can extend and count the number of diagonals well, what we will do here is we'll just kind of stop here and compare our results with pascal's triangle okay so let's write down the numbers in pascal's triangle it always begins by one and then we go left and right once and then we'll combine them so we have one one plus one is two one and then we get one three three one so it is one three plus one is four three plus three is six four and one so we can continue making this so i'll just stop here for the time being at this level uh, so four plus one is five ten ten it is always symmetric as you know uh, four plus one is five and one so that's the pascal triangle now let us see how do we get these numbers 2, 5, and 9? So when you analyze this, you can find that uh, we could combine these two numbers to get 2. So, or we can get 5 by combining these numbers, 2 and 3. Do you see that? To get 9, we could combine the numbers 3 and 6. Similarly, for the seventh side, the result should be 4 plus 10 as 14. So that is the kind of trend which supports our table. Now, looking at this trend, we can find a general formula. So here you see this is T1. Uh, let me write here itself. So the general formula you can write from this trend. So here this is T1 one right so t 
one one this is t zero 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 one 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 plus t this one zero one two and zero one two so it is t two two and this one here is zero uh, t so that is the zeroth row right this is the first row this is the second row that is the third row so we could just combine them and to get these two combinations it is zero one two so it is zero two one plus the next zero three two right and for this we have term number here is zero three one t three one I mean I should write comma here in between right okay plus this one is four two correct so if you go with this trend you can find a general expression and the general expression will be let me write down here term number t so this is when the number of sides here the number of sides is six we have three if the number of sides is five we have two that means n minus three we get two right five minus three four minus three is one so we can write t n minus three and always you see it is one right plus t this is n minus two and second right so so that is how you get a general formula correct so our answer here is we are going to use this in a couple of applications so let me write down how many diagonals are there in an n-sided polygon number of diagonals will be t n minus 3 1 plus t n minus 2 2 right so that is the general formula those of you who have done binomial coefficients we could also write it as binomial coefficient also right so that could be let me write here uh, in terms of binomial coefficients which is n minus 3 c1 plus n minus 2 c2 right so then binomial coefficients we could write resu result as given here so that is the general formula for number of diagonals in n-sided polygon i hope you understand and appreciate the description given in this video. Thank you and all the best.